my name is Aaron and I'm back with another video. Um, today I wanted to be making brown sugar cookies um, that's inspired by Soul Top Kisses. Uh, some of the ingredients I'm using for this video is baking soda, uh, cornstarch, unsalted butter. Uh, it was supposed to be salted butter, but we have unsalted, all purpose flour. and brown sugar with some salt. <laughs> uh, the measuring tool I'm using today is a cup for the brown sugar and also for the flour. I um, also need a half of a cup. I also have these measuring tools, which is like a tablespoon, teaspoon, et cetera, et cetera, and a sifter for the flour. And also this glass bowl. All right, so let's get into the video. Okay, so I kind of forgot the taco chip. So yeah, let me need to use for the end. Um, after you get done, I might mix in this stuff, but you'll see in the video. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna go ahead and do is put two sticks of butter into the pan. Also, you want to have your stove to medium high heat and let the butter brown well melt and then brown you don't want to burn your butter but you want it to have like a light brown color so you have to be very cautious with this because the butter do brown very quickly and it's very easy to just uh, burn your butter so you got to be very cautious on that I mean and yeah so while the butter is melting or whatever you can go ahead and start with the next step on like getting the ingredients into the bowl so what I did was I went ahead and started working on my on the brown sugar, putting that into the bowl and the white sugar. And you can see in later on in the video. Oh, yes. Um, I forgot to say when you are pouring the brown sugar into the measuring cup, make sure you just pat the brown sugar down in the measuring cup so you can get an accurate measurement. And so it won't be less brown sugar than it's supposed to be. All right, so as you can see here, I already, um, I patted down the brown sugar and I'm about to put it into the bowl. Um, excuse me, I'm like looking <laughs> tired. So don't worry, don't worry about me right now. Um, so in the pan, you can see, what well, the pie, you can see that the butter is boiling. What you're gonna do is like I'm doing right now, I'm stirring it up a little bit just to, you know, stir it up so nothing will burn or anything and um yeah just keep your eye on the butter as it melts and bubble and whatnot because this is the browning process All right, so as you saw before, I went ahead and I put in the white sugar into the um, bowl as well. And now, in, as you can see in the bowl, the butter is browning up a little bit more. So what you wanna do is, you really wanna keep your eye up here because the butter, um, well, you might as well, you can take it out right now. I left mine on for a little bit longer, but not that much longer. Oh, never mind. So I'm taking it out right now because it's really brown. It's brown. So this is what you want. And you're going to go ahead and pour that into the bowl. And uh, as you pour it, pouring the butter into the bowl, make sure you get all the nicks and crannies up in the bowl. That's what I did. Well, that's what I saw on Stove Top Kisses video. So that's what I'm going to do in my video and my cookies. And my cookies turned out really good. So stay tuned for the end result.
as i just pour in the butter into the bowl i'm going to go ahead and mix up all the ingredients together so we can move on to the next step All right, so this is what your stuff should, your batter should look like. Um, the only thing that's in there, as you can tell, is just butter and sugar. So it should look just like that. But now we're moving on to our next step, which is going to be us adding in our two eggs, as you see right here, also with a vanilla extract. And that's it, to be honest, um, before we start adding in our powdery ingredients. Okay, so as you can see right here, I kind of got too excited using the uh, vanilla extract because I was like, these cookies are going to need some flavor, you know, like some, some mm to it. So <laughs> what I did was I poured it, you know, in the measurements or whatever, but then I poured it on a little, little kick to it. So that's it. That's about it. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to add in salt. After you pour in your salt, I'm gonna need y'all to go ahead and stir up all your ingredients together before you putting in your dry ingredients into your batter because, you know, just keep it mixed up as you go. All right, so now I'm just going to show y'all how my batter looks right now with all the ingredients in there. I put it there so far. So now we're going to go ahead and get into our dry, dry ingredients with our flour, our baking soda, and our cornstarch. All right, so this is the flour right here. So before you put in the flour, my slow self go just put it in there like that. Um, you want to go ahead and like put that through a sift, a sifter, I believe that's what it's called. I'm sorry. You want to sift the flour in the batter because you don't want any flour balls to be in your batter because you know who wants that in their cookies. So yeah, you're gonna go ahead and sift that so it can be nice and smooth so you get the best result for your cookies. All right, so when you get to this step, um, after you put in all your dry ingredients, you're gonna go ahead and use that utensil I'm using right now in the video uh to mix in your all the ingredients together your dry ingredients so what you want to do is you want to lightly mix the ingredients like how i am doing in the video because you don't want to overwork the dough because that's how your dough becomes tough and hard and your cookies are not going to come out right
Once you are done lightly mixing in your dry ingredients into your cookie dough, um, this is kind of optional. You don't have to add anything else into it, but um, in, in my cookies, I personally just added in chocolate chips. So when um, you add in your chocolate chips, just you know lightly mix it in your cookie dough because like I said, you don't want to overwork your dough. After that, um, you might as well say that you're done. So yeah. dough for the cookie um it actually came out way better than the first attempt that i did um on christmas eve but yeah so i'm about to put some saran wrap on it put it in the refrigerator let it cool down for an hour and bring it back out and bake it um yeah so and when i bake the uh cookies i'm just basically going to set the oven to 350 and let it bake for at least like 10 minutes and that's pretty much it. And I will, I'm gonna uh, come back with the final product. And yeah. Oh yeah, the dough tastes really good. <laughs> kind of weird, but, but yeah. More bien. More bien. All right, so this is the end of my video, my first cooking video. If you liked it, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you stayed till the end of the video, go ahead and comment cookies, and I'll see you in the next one.